Hello again adventurers, welcome to another adventure from America Spain, today as promised is a longer hike, today we will do epic loop on the southwest coast of Mallorca with epic cliff views and we're gonna get to La Trapa nature reserve, let's get into the vlog. We started a hike from a town called Sand Elm and on the other side you can see an island called Sa Dragonera which might be also uh, interesting to visit. And it's already great to have amazing views at the beginning of the hike, the waves smashing to the rock cliffs and the awesome island on the other side. walking through this path you can see many interesting plants along the site many of them are endemic to this area with a specific climate they have to withstand the hot summers without much rain but they can enjoy the mild winters with more rain Then we went through this small passage with the steep cliffs on the left side and the rocks on the right side, so it was really interesting. You can see how we came from this spot that was going just by the side of the steep cliffs. And here we also noticed that the path is pretty overgrown with these bushes, so not many people hike here, but at least it's still visible. At this point we lost the path a little bit, we should have gone down on the left along the shoreline but we went more straight and the path was not so good here. And here we got to this old abandoned house on the top of the cliff and we're gonna explore it now. So you can get up to the second floor but the stairs are quite gnarly and you have to use a rope to climb up here. Once you get up, you get rewarded with this awesome view of the cliffy mountains going down into the sea and the waves crashing down.
now we should be following the path down in the valley and then up to those mountains that you can see in the front. entering the forest again which would protect you from the high heat in the summer but now it's maybe not even 20 degrees so we prefer to be on the sun Now we ascended up from the woods and we got these rocky cliffs on the right side and the sea on the left side which reminded me of the path from the beginning. Now in the distance you can see the old house we've been about half an hour ago and the woods we descended down to the valley and now we got up here and on the way back we plan to go around another way so it should be a great adventure, let's do it! Try to give away all I had. My mind was full of my mind. Here in the distance, you can see the place where we started, and we plan to go there another way to make kind of shortcut. And I miss you so bad. Don't know if we should call you back. You know it's getting dark inside my head. I feel there's something that is stopping me now. Uh, Something that is, I feel there's something that is, I feel there's something that is stopping me now. Oh. And I try Here you can see the path that follows along the mountainside. It's a truly beautiful hike with amazing views. Really gonna cut you out. I feel like no prayers are gonna have myself. No. And we got one more view of that beach under the cliffs with the old house and here in the distance is the place where we started so it looks pretty far so hopefully it's not gonna take us long time to get there.
okay now we pretty much got to the top of the hill and from now we should go more downhill uh, to the monastery that you can see in the front down there True value in biodiversity, La Trapa has been declared as a special protection area for birds and as a wildlife refugee. Among its values are 16 endemic species of plants, 14 varieties of orchids and birds such as the Balearic warbler, osprey, black vulture, Eleonora's falcon and Balearic shearwater. Year 1810 saw the arrival of Trappist monks who established a community which they occupied until 1824. The result of their labor can be seen in the different architectural elements they were built and to which the local inhabitants contributed and added to. This is pretty much the last viewpoint where we can see the sea right beneath us. From here we're gonna go more inland and make a loop around. But it's been amazing to see these cliffs and also the island on the other side. see the sign on the tree saying that there is a camping area here which is great if you do like a multiple day hike but the problem is that we haven't seen any drinking water since we started so you have to bring a lot of water with you and here we are back at the crossroad so again we came from the town Sant Elm which is on the right and then down here we saw that the viewpoint with the monastery and now we're gonna keep going on this big road the way to the hill says buses which should take one and a half hours but we're gonna turn on the right before that making a loop <laughs> In few minutes we got to another crossroad, so here on the left you keep going to that hill says buses, another hour and a half and we're gonna follow this bigger main road pretty much till the end. I decided to be more adventurous and quickly run up to this little hill that was just by the road. I quickly took my phone with me and ran up while Sanya was recording me from down there.
Okay, and here I got pretty much to the top of the hill and you can see the where we came from, the monastery down there and the main road with uh, Sanya recording me. Here I see there is another peak just over here, so I'm gonna try to go a little bit more till it's safe. Here you can see how the road descends down to the valley and then all the way down to the town Sand Elm, so we should hurry up because sun is getting lower. And here I got up almost to the second peak, but there was this gnarly passage with the steep cliffs on both sides. So when you're in a hurry, it's very important to stay safe and rational. And in this case, I just returned back from here. So now we crossed over the mountain saddle to the other side and the road started descending down and we still got a little bit of sunshine left. In about 10-15 minutes the road became paved so there are even people getting up to the monastery with a car and here you can see the hill where I was about half an hour ago. So now we see there is still some sunshine down in the valley, so now we're gonna go faster to try to catch the sunset. And here we got to some big fenced up property with this uh, dog over here and we also catch this awesome sunset here. So at this point we were pretty tired, it was a long day and it was uh, getting late but we got rewarded with this awesome sunset sky. From here it was maybe another 2 kilometers, mostly downhill. Here you can see how we made the loop, so we started down there following the cliffy coastline and now we, now we came from up here following this bigger road, amazing loop. And 
in the end we got rewarded with this uh, perfect sunset sky and a view of this island in the front amazing Red Vegan Adventures, I hope you enjoyed today's adventure loop and maybe it inspired you to do a hiking in Mallorca yourself, maybe I can be your guide. Stay tuned for more adventures like this from Mallorca, Spain and as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous!